JT Daniels. Is he washed up? Is he done? Is his time come to a, to a close? Is he just one of those could have beens, has beens, should have beens that was supposed to be the man and just never really panned out? Or is he going to find a school where he resurfaces to become that guy and make a one last run to become an NFL quarterback? We're going to talk about it today. Let's get into it. JT Daniels, the once highly sought after recruit, five star recruit out of high school. Started his run at USC was supposed to be the kid that brought USC put him back on the map as we've seen That was not the case at all. He had a decent freshman year as you expect I don't think the hype that he was intended He let, lived up to it, but none other he did what he had to do come the sophomore year He runs into some injuries. He gets replaced and he never puts on a USC uniform ever again after that he comes to Georgia, and I remember when he came to Georgia, he was supposed to be the man, the myth, the legend, the guy that brings him back to the Natty type of level, the Matty stat of the world, right? This was the guy I remember hearing about him. JT Daniels is going to save Georgia football. Well, we know how that runs out. His first year in Georgia, he finished with 10 TDs, two picks, and again, looked to be that guy. Following season, 2021 season, he runs some injuries early, that steps in Stetson the man Bennett. And again, we know what happens. Stetson runs off, wins a natty for them, and has essentially locked himself in of being the guy for Georgia. So now JT is in the same boat again as he was at USC just a few years ago. Where to next? He has three schools that have sent, have sent him offers and has visited two of the three schools so far. The first school being West Virginia. Now, I've got a little bit of a soft spot for West Virginia. They took on Will Greer. Kind of gave Will Greer that second chance and allowed him to play. And as a Florida fan, I was excited to see him play as a Mountaineer. But they've got some guys there. The West Virginia has a few quarterbacks already lined up. So do I think that's going to be the best play for him? I don't know if it's going to be the, the school. I think out of the options, I think it's one of the better schools to put him in a line light, to put him in an opportunity to make his his NFL campaign a better option. But it's the out of the three, it's my least option of where I think he's going to land next being Oregon State. And at Oregon State right now, they have a three-way quarterback duel happening. They've got Chance Nolan, a fifth-year junior who will be returning. But the door is still wide open with Ben Gulberson and Tristan Jeba. Jeba, I'm not quite sure how to pronounce her name. Jeba and, and Gulberson are coming off of some injuries, but they have shown some flashes to be great. And again, you're going against a guy who's a fifth-year junior who's been there, who's been on that offense. I don't feel that JT Daniels going there, he's just going to be competing with somebody who's been on offense for a while and might find himself in the same situation that he was in Georgia. And he is not at a place to go and fight somewhere to stay alive. He needs to go somewhere where he can take over and be the guy now. And if I'm him, why I'm scared is because we're halfway through spring ball. He's already missed out on learning the playbook, getting to know the team, getting to know the locker room. And with each day that passes is less time that he has to be a part of that team. Now, the last and most favorable option for JT Daniels to land right now is Mizzou. And I think some Mizzou fans might think that's crazy because they might be sold in on brand Brady Cook, Tyler Macon. And a lot of people are liking who Sam Horn and the vibes that he's bringing, possibly being like the next Drew Luck for Mizzou. But again, Sam Horn is really young. And a lot of things, Mizzou was shopping around already. They were already trying to go after Spencer Rattler. So the coach there, Eli, is not sold on the fact that, hey, we have the guys that we need. So that tells me if JT Daniels were to come in, again, they were looking for a Spencer Rattler, JT could come in and that would be his job. So if I'm JT, Mizzou seems to be the place. You get to go play in a, in a strict conference, a tight conference, a popular conference, the SEC. Play against Georgia, I believe. I think they play him this year. But it's an up-and-coming SEC school. I think it's the best hope for him to keep his hopes alive if he can go there and sling that ball around. I mean, they've shown to, to get some guys to have a high passing offense. Uh, they've always been more of the the high high octane offense, which I think would be good for JT's career right now, especially where it's at. I think he's on his last leg, his last line, and he's gonna need everything and everything to get it done and, and, and to be avoiding that Tate Martell uh, life where you just kind of were supposed to be the guy and through injuries and through your career could never really find a home and just got beat out time and time again and just fade away into the to the sunsets. So, look, I would hate to see this kid kind of waste his opportunity but his time is running short like i said spring ball's already started you have missed that opportunity to play somewhere and get to know that the team and the offense and every day that you take not doing that you're wasting your time maybe he can make a last little surge and be the joe burrow for mizzou as joe was for lsu probably not but 
time will tell hopefully he makes a decision soon because like i said time's running out hey guys make sure you like and subscribe drop out down a comment what did you like to hear what, what did you like about this video where do you think jt daniels is gonna land and does he still have time to research his career i don't know we go live every wednesday at 8 35 make sure you guys tune in for that talk shit tell us what you're thinking what you're feeling what you guys want to hear we love every, every minute of it till next time we're high top sports